It was seven years ago today that Susan Powell, the, the, her story took a sudden turn and it caught everyone by surprise. Josh, recently denied custody of ki his kids, killed himself and the boys in a home explosion. Tonight, as part of KSL's investigative podcast, Cold, Susan's father reflects on that day. In a saga that's already difficult to hear, this story may be the hardest of all. This was a horrible murder of two little kids. Let's not dress it up. Let's not sanitize it. Let's call it what it is. There's two little boys in the house, and there's an adult man. I knew that they were going to visit Josh. I knew we both had bad feelings about that, but we really didn't have any choice in the matter. We had to let them go. Kids were one step ahead of me. They're five and seven. They were one step ahead of me, and he slammed the door on my face. I thought it was a mistake. I kept knocking, and then I called 911. What is that person's name? His name is Josh Powell. He has supervised visitation, and he blew up the house and the kids. All units at the house are flames are visible. One victim, three feet inside. The additional no victim found at the same location as the first. I knew what they would be looking at. I knew what the, the first responders were, were looking at. I had just been to an aircraft accident probably about eight months earlier where where it hit a house and this yeah, it was not fun going to that site. And I really didn't want to see see the site where my grandchildren were either. It got worse as more and more stuff came out about what really had happened to the boys on that day. As soon as the door closed, I heard him say, Charlie, I've got a big surprise for you. I heard Braden cry out. Having had Braden in my arms before and Charlie, I could just see, imagine him seeing Charlie get hit with a hatchet and then dad coming after him and just could imagine the terror that was in his eyes when that stuff happened. And it, it just, uh, anyway. And that made it harder for me. Your grief comes in waves and you feel these things and then you, every now and then it comes back. But a father who claims he loves his children and can do that to them. Uh, what more could I possibly have done short of breaking the law and taking the, the boys and running somewhere? What else, what could you have done to prevent that? I don't know. Charlie and Braden would have been 14 and 12 years old today. Questions remain to this day over Washington State's handling of this case, including why Josh was allowed to have visitation in his home with Charlie and Braden. Cold host Dave Colley will dig into that in this week's episode, which will be available tomorrow wherever you get podcasts, thecoldpodcast.com, or you can listen on the KSL TV app.